this video we're going to continue to work with functions and we're going to talk about algebra functions which is basically just using the arithmetic for making new functions from ones that we've already seen. So if we let f of x and g of x be two functions then we've got four rules here. That's the one, first one says f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Second one says f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Third one says f g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So you can rewrite it like that. Next one says f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x if g of x is not equal to zero. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at some examples here. First example, we've got f of x is 2x, and g of x is x squared plus 1. We want to find f plus g of x. So we've got this f of x here, which is 2x, and g of x here, which is x squared plus 1. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll add them by the rule here. So we'll get this, which most people like to rewrite as that. So that's f plus g of x. Second one we want to do is f minus g. So we've got f of x here. And we want to take away this function g of x. So I'm going to just multiply for the second one by minus 1. So I'm going to get that which you can rewrite if you like, but I think it should be left like that. Usually put the... Oops, that's minus. F minus J of X. That one. Next one we're going to do F of X times J of X. So what we'll do for that one is, we've got this 2X, and we've got the X squared plus 1, and that you'll be back and I says from school or algebra is expanding brackets where we'll simply get that so that's f g of x next one's going to be f of x divided by g of x so we can just write that as that that's a fraction we put f of x on the top and g of x on the bottom so that's f g of x so, that's our first example done now. Let's do the next one. Yeah. I've got two of our functions here. What I'm going to do is first I'm just going to add these up. And let's see what we get. So, I'm just going to combine these. I'm going to put the first squared at the front. And that's what we get when we do that. Second one we're going to find is f minus g. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have this one out at the front. I'm going to have, I'm going to subtract this function. So I multiply for by minus 1. I get 2x plus 5 minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 7. I can combine like terms, put this out front of the front if I like, and get 6x plus 12. And then we can multiply them just the same, and you can it would be this multiplied by that. And I'm not gonna do it, you can um Multiply up brackets yourself, you should have learnt that at the calculus class or at school, so I'm not going to bother doing it, you can do that. And when we divide it, we'll put f of x on the bottom, f of x on the top and g of x on the bottom. So there you go. As an exercise, multiply this out. That's an exercise for you to do. 
And now I just want to do a few more problems. I'm going to do F, 3, G of X. So what I do here is this is a special case of this where I've got a constant. And I can just multiply the whole function throughout by this constant. So I've got 3 times this function. I've got G of X here. So I put G of X here. I multiply it through by 3. And I get that. That's 3G of X. I can do the same for f of x, multiply that throughout. And then I get 3 root x. So that's 3. Sorry. 3 f of x. 3 f of x. And last one here. What we can do is we can add them. Which you know how to do. I've shown you how to do that. But we can plug a number in here. We'll just put a number in here for everywhere we see x and see we've got 4. So then we get that, which is equal to that, which you know is equal to 67. So that's f plus g of 4. Okay, so. That's how we do all these different algebra functions. Next time we're going to continue and look at something what we call a composition of functions. But these are your four normal arithmetic rules for functions. One, two, three and four here are your basic ones. And we've done some examples. And as an exercise, multiply these brackets out. It's easy.